Welcome back, CSE 3200 Yukon Stores. We're in video eight of chapter 20, basically a continuation of chapter seven. We have fetched our JSON objects. Uh, we talked about JSON objects being a value pair inside of curly braces, and that it can be stored in the list, comma separated inside of square braces. Now we are making model classes. Last uh, video, all we did is made our first basic model class, and that was gallery item. Uh, that is here, and we, um, and we fixed a couple of errors, but I left off where you saw that last one. We had made changes to our dependencies, but we are in this video going to finish with all of our model classes. So we, are, we have our gallery item class here that is going to represent an individual photo. Uh, we're gonna have photo response, which is going to represent taking something out of its, um, out of its, um, out of its curly races, and then we're going to have a flicker response, which is taking something out of the entire list of JSON objects. All right, so let's go fix that photo response. Uh, we had gotten rid of our scalars dependency because we're now going to use a Moshi dependency, so let's change that to Moshi. Uh, we are going to need the import for that, but we also have an error up here. Uh, we did get rid of this in one place, but we did not get rid of it here. And then let's do our import. Okay, now I can close that up. All right, let's go back to our gallery item, and we are going to annotate this as a JSON class. Once we do that, we are going to have to import. Okay, and then we are going to uh, put inside of parentheses, and you can see that it's saying generate adapter. So I'll start typing generate adapter, and we're going to set that to true. Um, and for any of our values that aren't going to map directly on to um, what we are getting from the website, then we might annotate it so that we can change it to something more representative on this side, uh, but still keep the URL. So what we're gonna do with this value URL is we're gonna go at JSON, and we'll need an import for that, but let's put parentheses here, and hover, and Alt-Shift-Enter, And then inside the parentheses, we are going to say that name is equal to, and in quotes, our URL uh, underscore or uh, underscore s, URL underscore s, and then val URL of type string. Oh, this gets a comma at the end. All right, now we are going to create our photo response. So let's right click on API, new. Kotlin class, photo, response, let me check that. Uh, good thing I checked it, I missed the P. Uh, this is going to be a data class. And let's see, separate the parentheses and we're gonna annotate it the same way with at JSON class, get the import. And then we're gonna put at JSON, put the parentheses, get the import again. Inside the parentheses, name is equal to photo. And outside of the parentheses, val gallery items of type list of gallery items. I uh, did not notice if I typed this or not, but there we go. Uh, what's wrong here? Let me check. Oh, right, the last time we put in generate, um, generate adapter is true, we're gonna do that again. All right, all set, one more. We're going into our API, new Kotlin class, F-L-I-C-K-R-R-E-S, P-O-N-S-E, Flickr response. It will also be a data class, hit enter. 
uh, separate the parentheses, annotate in the same way, at JSON class, get our import, turn our generate adapter to true, and inside we're going to take val photos, and this is just going to be photo response. All right, the next thing we want to do is go into our Flickr API, and we are going to change this from a string, finally, into a Flickr response. And it feels like we are almost ready to get those photos, but not quite. We're in video eight, and as I said, we have 10 videos. So nearly there, but not quite. Uh, now let me go check photo repository and see if we have fixed everything we need to fix. We changed this to a Moshi factory. Uh, let's see. And we still have the Flickr API is fine. Uh, this still says fetch photos. Okay, we're gonna change this to, uh, well, we can keep this. We'll just put it down a line. Uh, but we are going to make this suspend fun fetch photos returning a list of gallery items and we'll set that equal to flicker api dot fetch photos dot photos dot gallery item All right, uh, let me just check one more time to make everything sure everything is okay. But if it is, we're all set with this video. Okay, I did see something. Um, this, I had gallery items uh, in previous code as plural. If I change it plural here, it's gonna be an error, but put it there because it's in one of my new model classes where I had set it to gallery item, and it's a list of, so let's change that to plural, and that should be fixed here. It is, um, and it looks like it's been running the entire time. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I'm not gonna run it this time. Um, so what we're gonna do now um, is basically, uh, we're gonna set up a view model in the next class, uh, do a little bit of polishing up on anything where we might have, um, might have bugs. Uh, and then finally in video 10, we are going to get our photos and have a product. All right, so I'll see you in video nine.